What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and welcome to Lesson 5, Relationships. So starting with version 2020.2, Tableau released a new data model and how you connect to data with relationships. For this lesson, I'm going to go over the new interface, the two layers of relationships, and the data pane. With that said, let's open up Tableau. We're going to go to Microsoft Excel, click Sample Superstore, hit Open. And the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was this new interface because relationships are the default now. So we'll grab orders, we'll drop that in the pane, we'll grab people, and you can see that when I bring this in, we get this orange line, which Tableau calls a noodle. So we'll bring this in and we'll drop in people. So this opens up our relationship and by a default, Tableau found a relationship and it is looking at the orders table and the people table and it's I was gonna say joining, but it's relating on the region field. If we wanna relate on more fields, we can add more fields here. So you can click a field, you have an operation you can choose. Let's go ahead and close that. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was this performance options. So we'll click performance options and Tableau automatically will choose the safe defaults. I recommend leaving those defaults unless you understand cardinality and referential integrity. If you want to learn more about these performance options, I put a link to the documentation in the description below, but for this lesson, we will keep the defaults. So let's go ahead and grab returns. We can bring that in here as well. Close that and we'll just pull these off. Next, I wanted to talk about the two layers of relationships. So first layer is the physical layer. So let's grab orders, drop that in the pane. And to get to the physical layer, we're going to double click orders. And if you're familiar with older versions of Tableau, that's exactly what we have here. We have orders. I can grab people. I can drop that in here and we have our join. I can do a left join. Let's close that. Let's also grab returns. I'm going to drop that in here, do a left join. And this is our physical layer. So what the physical layer is doing is it's joining the data on a row by row basis. So if you look at this table below, you can see that we have order information in here. We have the people information in here and the returns. So it's one large table. So let's get rid of those. And to get out of this physical layer, all you have to do is hit this X. And now we're in the logical layer. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we'll grab people, we'll drop in people, close that, we'll grab returns, drop that here. And one thing you'll notice is that these tables are related, but the joining and aggregation of the data doesn't happen until you start building the viz. So when I click this orders table, you can see the only thing in here is orders, right? It's not one large table anymore. We have orders, then we have return table, just contains return data, people just contains person data. All right, so this is your logical layer. Next, let's talk about the data pane. So we'll come over here to sheet one and you can see now that we are grouped together by table. So we have our orders table, people table, and our returns table. So let's open up our orders table. And you can see that this is split by our dimensions and our measures. So if I grab profit and I drag it up, you can see dimensions and measures. If you don't know what dimensions and measures are, don't worry, we're gonna cover it in an upcoming lesson. But this is how it's grouped together. If you hate this layout, you can always hit this drop down caret and say group by folder. And this is the old way where you see just dimensions and measures for everything. But I'm getting used to this new data model. So I'm gonna go group by data source table and rock this view. Another thing I wanted to point out is in the old data model, you would have one table, so you'd have a default calculation called number of records, and you could see how many records were in a table. Now, since we have separate tables, we don't have that, but we have these counts. But if we wanna know the number of records, we can easily hold down the command key, click these counts, go to the show me tab, hit the text table, and you can see the number of records. So in short, 
Tableau got smarter. Tableau relates tables together at the right aggregation and handles the level of detail for us, so combining tables just got easier. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on relationships. If the last couple of lessons on joins, data blending, or relationships went over your head, don't worry. I know it can be confusing at the beginning, but I promise by the end of this course you'll be an expert. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to connect with me, and I'll see you in the next lesson.